Okay. Hi, I'm Heather McNamara. I'm a parent of two uh, Seminole County children. One's a graduate, very proud of him. I wanna talk about the past for a second because none of this is new. It's old trash. Um, I really hope the kids here know that. This is not new. Um, I grew up, as many of us here did, in the 80s and 90s. And back then, adults did not talk about LGBT stuff with kids that were so worried about our freaking innocence, okay? And when Ellen DeGeneres came out on network television, there was a huge outcry. The Homophobic Defense of Marriage Act was passed. I don't even want to talk about that. Parents and children cheered. Adults said, Adam, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And um, you're not gay. Everyone gets curious. Trans people weren't even discussed except on Jerry Springer, which was horrible. I didn't know many queer kids growing up. At my high school, there was only one openly gay kid, and his life was a living hell. We had a gym teacher that we were all pretty sure was a lesbian, but nobody was allowed to talk about that, especially not her. I think she was afraid of her job. Is that what we want to do again? It was a dark time, so most of us hid ourselves. And you know what? I was exactly what some of you want your kids to Please be. Please direct your comments even, to the board. I was afraid even to think about what, my, what I might be. I left high school believing I could live as a straight person. I think most of the rest of us did. 20 years passed, and I was able to reconnect with a lot of kids I went to high school with on social media. Scores of us have come out because it didn't work, because whatever your complainants may think, whatever your parental disapproval just isn't powerful enough. Threats of hell and demon are not scary enough, and an old stupid book, a thousand times translated, and even a government isn't convincing enough to change who somebody is. Don't be your kids' first bullies. Thank you. Order. Order, please. Next speaker. Hi, how do we do this here? Is that this good? Okay. Hi, I'm Zinnia Jones. She, her, sorry for the bad handwriting. Heather McNamara is my wife. She's crying right now because of this. Uh, I'm a proud mother of a child at SCPS and a graduate, and I'm a transgender woman. I'm 34 years old. I've been doing this for a decade. You call that a phase? I am the gender ideology. Here I stand. We are many. We are many. Board members, restore the censored pages of the, your LGBT students to their yearbook. Make this right. Calling us groomers is a historical blood libel that leads to pogroms of minorities. To kids and parents everywhere, I'll show you exactly how to stop this. Extremist groups are lying to you here about trans people being too mentally incompetent to know our own genders, and they were lying about us when they said that being trans is a contagion we're spreading to other people. That's genocidal rhetoric. Who is responsible? The Christian Nationalist Legal Group, Alliance Defending Freedom, just ordered those talking points as a legal argument from a hate group in Gainesville called the American College of Pediatricians. They are a fake group. They are not the American Academy of Pediatrics. They are not mainstream. They are about a hundred people, about 12 core members. The Alliance Defending Freedom ordered those talking points. The talking points came first. The evidence was an afterthought, just like big tobacco hiring experts to manufacture doubt that smoking causes cancer. Go read the Southern Poverty Law Center today. Go read FloridaBan.com today to see their actual documents we uploaded, where they planned and workshopped these anti-trans talking points themselves. This ends now. I want these queer and trans kids busting open these conspiracies against their lives in the pages of that yearbook. That's journalism. You're only coping with the fallout of this because a governor who's faced allegations of committing acts of torture against detainees at Guantanamo, who were later freed. That's not political, that's the Geneva Convention. Torture is a war crime. Your time has committing expired, thank you. Your time has expired, thank you.